stuff out there. Yeah. And be ready to like grow and change. You don't have to like hold on to old versions of yourself. You can evolve. I would probably tell myself just to put myself out there and talk to everyone that I meet. Um, not be nervous to like go to the dining hall or anything. Just try to make some friends, try to meet some new people and just have fun. Well, I want to go back up to the observatory. That's what I want to do. I have never been to the creek at West Town that I've heard so much about. I, I think Elephant Rock was kind of cool. Although I never got to hang out there, I remember getting lost. Learning how to subtly respond to texts that are like really funny while on a Zoom call. Like being able to look into the camera and also read the text and then not laugh or smile because then the teacher gets mad. would probably have to be sitting through an entire six-hour session uh, with Reed, which was just like a six-hour Q&A session by the end of it. Like, I haven't been doing that much physical stuff, but I was like sweating by the end of it, you know? It was like running a marathon. Um, but, you know, I survived it, and then I got accepted into the school. I like to use the chat because one, I don't have to talk and unmute myself. Two, I can think through what I'm saying a lot better and it makes me feel more confident with what I'm saying. So the chat's pretty great. I don't think everyone would agree with this, but I really like the paella. And also uh, community dinners. Sometimes the food isn't there, but when you have your community there, it's a must have. <laughs> The best piece of advice was when someone told me to not worry too much about the future and obviously like care about your grades and care about what you're doing but don't get too caught up in thinking about what you're going to do next because then you won't really appreciate what you have. Snowball and you have to go all out with your fit. Like that was the most fun part, shopping for dresses with my friends and then um, like actually going to Snowball and staying at Snowball, not just going for a second and leaving. Like it's fun if you're actually there. I feel like there's a couple. I had Teacher Elena and Teacher Rose as my college like recommendation people. Um, I would definitely say that I have a, I would say I have a big close bond with Teacher Rose because um, I personally hate chemistry. And I think I bonded with my chemistry teacher over that. <laughs> I actually didn't know much about many colleges since I think the only person in my family to actually attend college was my mom. But teacher Joachim, he's my college counselor and he put like tons of schools on, you know, my possible application list. Um, and it helped me like have a list of places to look into. Well, for me, uh, being able to better work with my parents and other peers and also having the benefits of slightly lower testing requirements as well. Honestly, right now, I'm thinking of everything about Bangladesh, but also world politics too. It really stressed me out. <laughs> And I mean, it was just like, it just made you like question everything. I was accepted ED to Bryn Mawr. Um, I was looking for a school that was most like West Town, something that like felt like home. And when I visited, I mean, immediately I felt this connection and I was like, this is it. <laughs> this is as close as I'm gonna get to West Town. Um, for sure, the Bernie Sanders mittens. 
and I did this as a child or something, or th I've done this, so therefore the COVID vaccine, like I'm not afraid of it. Um, I'm looking forward to meeting new people, um, going to a different state, oh wait, I'm already in a different state, we're going to one that's farther away maybe, and you know, just kind of being a little more on my own and more independent, you know what I'm saying? Being an adult, but like not an adult. Dressed up as Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy as freshmen for Halloween freshman year. Yep. I have certainly clear answer in math class. Being on dorm with so few people was probably the best thing to come out of it because I made some really close bonds with people that I normally wouldn't have talked to because that was pretty much all I have. Ice skating. Oh my god, that was my favorite. Um, because like I like just met people because like people were struggling. And it's just such a fun, like open, like you can be as funny as you want because nobody really knows how to skate. When Element howls before their performances, <laughs> um, it's really unique and different, and I've never heard of that before, but we always do it. Having so much fun that I want to come back. <laughs>